Hello and welcome to Pretty Noir Health. There is a gender that gets scared of going to the doctors. Yeah, men. Men don't like to go get checked out. I don't know why, I heard it's because they're afraid to get a prostate exam. Well, I'm gonna bust your bubble today. Uh, you don't routinely get your prostates checked at the doctor's office, no. It's only checked if there's a concern. Uh, also, it's at the discretion of the patient and the provider. Uh, the US, the task force doesn't recommend that men get their prostates checked. And however, there will only be a concern if the man reports a couple of things. For example, difficulty starting, initiating a stream, a urine stream, or difficulty stopping a urine stream. If they have pain between like the rectum and the, the testes, like that little gap right there, if they feel like pain and pressure when they go to defecate or with touch. Also, if you have a urine stream that starts and stops and starts and stops, that means that the prostate is probably enlarged. And also, they're going to check for uh, your prostate enlargement, like I said, based on your symptomatology, what you're complaining of, what you're presenting with. The prostate is right here. It is like a little apple like this right here. That is a prostate. And then the urethra is what the urine comes out through. So if that prostate that looks like an apple is kind of enlarged, it pinches on the urethra, causing the problem with the urine flow. So if you don't have those specific concerns, then sorry, your prostate is not going to get checked. So go to the doctor. Feel free to go to the doctor every year. If you have any concerns, if you have the flu, the cold, if you're hypertensive, go to the primary care provider. Okay, I had questions about what causes erectile dysfunction in men. I talked about medications. I talked about lifestyle, uh, alcohol uh, consumption, excessive alcohol consumption, uh, smoking. Those are lifestyle diseases. Again, lifestyle causes cocaine, uh, methadone. Methadone is one of them. Uh, opiates. Opiates, I'm talking about like oxycodone, Norco, Percocets. All the opioid medications would cause erectile dysfunction. Uh, dysfunction, amphetamines, amphetamines, uh, the Ritalins, the Focalins, there anything that has an amphetamine base in it would cause erectile dysfunction in some men, some men, not everybody. Uh, diuretics, men that are on diuretics for CHF, if you're on diuretics for swelling, uh, ankle, if you're holding onto fluids and they put you on, di on a diuretic, that could be the cause of your ED. Uh, Antihypertensive meds, we talked about that earlier. Uh, H2 blockers, like those that are supposed to affect like hormones that cause like uh, uh, allergic reactions, um, antidepressants. We already talked about those SSRIs and their side sexual side effects. Uh, we talked about the anti-epileptics. They cause um, erectile dysfunction, NSAIDs, muscle relaxants, some Parkinson's medications. There's a couple, a slew of medications out there to treat uh, ED in men. There's a uh, Viagra, there's Nenophil. There's a lot of them. However, some men or the problem that's causing erectile dysfunction is low testosterone, right? If your problem is because your testosterone level is low, don't you think you should fix the testosterone problem before you pop a pill? We People tend to self-treat, like borrow a medication from a friend, like I talked about, like the herbal remedies back home uh, to treat ED. It could be a testosterone problem. You need to go get it checked. If your levels are low, then they can replace your testosterone and then you don't have that issue. Rather than taking medications to kind of numb a problem that can be treated, right? I want us to make our health, going to the doctor, uh, lifestyle a priority, uh, try to prevent things that would cause us problems in the long run, like I talked about the TLC, therapeutic lifestyle changes, stop smoking, stop drinking if you can, limit the alcohol of consumption, exercising, deep breathing, relaxation, therapy. Therapy is actually helpful. If you have emotional problems, you have to talk it out because those would potentiate your dysfunction as a man. We already talked about this. Again, I am Prudence. You can find me at Prudy Noir Health on Facebook and YouTube. I have more content. I have exclusive content on there. Uh, just ask me any questions. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment again. Like always, thank you so much for watching.